Hello everybody, welcome to Lex's World. Hope you're having a good one. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of a taste test. I'm going to uh, taste some of the cannabis that I grew during the Plain Water Grow Journal and uh, see how exactly it measures up versus the same cannabis that I've grown in the past that wasn't grown with plain water. And also I wanted to talk a little bit about cannabis and music and cannabis as an enhancer of music and how you can actually find cannabis that might be better suited for uh, enjoying the music that you enjoy. So on that note, let's get into it. What I got here is a very, very nice looking nugget of Blueberry by Dutch Passion. And uh, some of you may have wondered, like over the last two, three years, I've referenced this strain a lot and I've grown it a lot uh, on and off camera. And uh, some of you might be wondering, like, what's the deal with this particular strain? Well, the deal with this particular strain and why I like it so much is to me, this strain uh, is a terrific music enhancer. I don't know why, but just for me in particular, Blueberry by Dutch Passion, I really enjoy listening to music uh, while I smoke this strain. Now, generally speaking, when it comes to cannabis and music, it's a little bit more uh, complex and nuanced than that. So generally, you may know that sativa-type strains, sativa-dominant ones, are more of a mind high, an active high, where your body doesn't feel stoned. So if you're going out into the nightclubs or whatever, and you want to listen to some music and dance, I recommend that you go for a sativa dominant strain to do that. That stands to reason. At the same time, if you're chilling out on a beanbag chair or something of the sort, and uh, you're kind of staying laid back, then maybe an indica strain is best for you musically. I could also see, and some people claim, that what actually happens is that uh, certain uh, genetic dominance is better for certain types of music. So, for example, indica dominant strains are better for hip hop. Sativa dominant strains are better for electronic dance music, EDM. But as a grower, I think it's even more precise than that. I think it comes down to particular strains. And even more so, I think that particular strains work best when it comes to music with certain people. So for me, it's always been this Blueberry by Dutch Passion. And that's why I keep growing it, is because I really love listening to music while I'm baked. And so uh, this is my strain of choice to do it. So I highly recommend that you do find a strain that's sort of a music enhancer for you. I will remark that it smells excellent. It smells the way this strain should smell. Yeah, just kind of uh, fruity with a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a blueberry tinge to it. That's why they named it that way, because it kind of smells like blueberries a little bit. And uh, now we're just going to load it up and we are going to taste test it. And we'll compare because I've grown this strain quite a bit in the past. And for this taste test, we're going to use the Volcano because it's good for that. Uh, the convection in the Volcano and just the way it works uh, actually lets you really taste the cannabis. Some of the mobile uh, vapes aren't as good for that. We'll really uh, let it settle on there and get warmed up so that it gives us a, a nice thick cloud right off the first bag. And uh, this episode isn't really brought to you guys by anybody, it's just me. But uh, I did recently do a video comparing Brave Browser to Chrome Browser. I'll link down to that video uh, down in the description. And uh, in it I detail why you really should stick it to Google and get rid of your Chrome and get Brave for your uh, internet browsing. So check that out because uh, you guys know very well on this channel why it's a good idea to stick it to Google as much as you possibly can. So on that note, here we go. Gonna really let it warm up. Mm -hmm. 
And there we go. Let us taste test. Let's really take a good one here. Well, guys, what can I say? Actually, let's take one more just to be sure here. Well, this is definitely very clean. It's uh, very mild. It's not harsh at all. There's no strange aftertastes that shouldn't be there. Nothing like that. It's extremely smooth. It tastes as it should. However, this is not in any way outstanding versus any other blueberry by Dutch Passion that I've grown before with fertilizers where I ended up flushing properly near the end of the grow. So I, I still feel like the Plain Water Grow Journal uh, was not worth the hassle considering what a low control uh, problematic type of grow it was as a result of using no nutrients in just plain water. I thought that maybe perhaps the taste here uh, would be something so strange and incredible that it would change my mind and many of you wanted to know how the taste would turn out so that's why I waited like a good month for everything to cure and gave it a shot but sorry guys I'm uh, not seeing anything like really crazy special here Yeah, just a decent tasting uh, blueberry strain, but nothing outstanding that would make me want to pursue the plain water grow in the future. And I will link to the uh, first episode of the plain water grow down in the description as well, uh, if you missed out on all of that and want to check it out. On that note, hope you guys found this quickie episode useful. If you did, make sure you're subscribed, that you've hit that like button, and we'll see you all next time.